Hi, in last video we have seen how to develop the Django CRM project. If you remember where we have seen how to create the login page, logout page, registration page and how to add the customer then we have seen how to create then we have seen how to update the customer record, how to delete the customer record, how to fetch the customer record. And in this video, we are going to see how to export that customer record, what we are showing over the browser. So in this video, we are going to export that data and store in the different different file format, such as XML format, CSV format, and we will also see how we can print that data. So let me show you the functionality, then we will see how we can achieve that functionality. For that, login with username and password. If you remember, we have created one user ID greedy and password also greedy. On login. So here it's showing export Excel, export CSV, export PDF. These are the different different file format in which we can export this data whatever showing over the browser. So for example click on export LC. After clicking on export LC that data is downloaded in the Excel format. So click on open. So Excel will open. Yeah you can see that whatever data we have entered over the browser or customer record it's showing here if you go to the browser and see same data downloaded in the excel format if you go to the file here you can check the the same data is showing here go to the browser then click on export csv this will export your file in csv format here you can see the format.csv click on open one second yeah you can see our data is showing in the csv format then again go to the browser and click on export to pdf then click on open yeah here you can see our data is getting printed so this is a different different format in which we can export our data like xml excel csv and pdf go to the browser and so here one search option is added here you can search the your record for example i want to search for the customer name for example ram see it's working now next let me search for the sham so in this video we are going to see how we can achieve this functionality and one more thing if you are following my django playlist then well and good you can add this one in the existing project which is django crm project and if you are not following my previous videos then also you can use these things in your project it's a very simple you need to add some predefined lines in your html page that's it so let's go to the visual studio code and let me show you how we can achieve that functionality for that go to the visual studio code and inside the home.html page see whoever following my django playlist they can follow the same step but who have their own project and and want to add this functionality in their project they can also add this whatever i'm going to do in this video they can also follow the same thing and add all the code in their html page where they have a particular table and from which table they want to export the data. So first go to the table tag and here you need to give one ID ID equals to here you can give any ID name whatever you want. In my case for example I'm giving example. That's it then control s then go to the base.html page then go to the base.html page and at the last here if you see script so here we need to add some scripts to achieve that functionality for that let me show you that script simply copy this entire things i will explain you what is these things Control c then paste here then Control s 
that's it if you go to the browser and refresh the browser you can see the same thing whatever i have shown you it will reflect in your project also but before that let me explain you this code here we have added example this example is nothing but the id of the table so if you remember in the home.html page here we have added one id the same name whatever we have taken here we need to take here and this entire thing will be the same in your case also and you need to simply add this libraries in your project that's it then control s then go to the browser first let me log out let me log in again greedy then password greedy click on login close this one yeah so it's showing here now let me check whether it's working or not so first let me close all the excel sheets which is i have opened previously yeah then click on export to excel then click on open yeah here you can see our excel sheet is downloaded but here you want to customize these things for example here it's showing excel mk go to the visual studio code and here see whatever you have written here it's showing there excel mk and if you don't want this excel mk or you want to any customized thing so you can update here for example let me change this one for example i want uh, customer data customer data control s then let me close this excel sheet first let me close this one then go to the browser let me refresh this one then click on export excel then click on open it's opening see customer data so you can customize this one as per your requirement but there is a one more scenario for example if you are not taking this one you are removing this one then control s then go to the browser first let me close this one close this excel sheet then go to the browser and refresh then click on export excel then click on open one second see in this case it's showing django crm so let me tell you why this is coming see if you are not going to overwrite the title tag then whatever title you have taken that it will show there if you go to the browser one second see django crm this is we have taken inside the title tag so the same field is showing in the excel also see django crm and if you see the my code one second let me show you in the title i have taken django crm so like that you can modify this one as per your requirement so thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe bye